Is monogamy overrated? I wouldn't say it's overrated. I just think people put too much value on what somebody else is doing. I really could care less what my husband do. <laughs> I really could care less. Now, if I find out he is sleeping with somebody else, then there would be actions that I need to take to protect myself and my health and my well-being. But I'm not just that invested on whether or not this person is solely going to have sex with me for the rest of their natural life. I really don't care that much. I really, really don't. Like, it doesn't... I realize that that person is not... is a totally whole, complete person without me like they have their own thoughts they have their own mind they have their own way of thinking and being and i really just don't care like i really do not like so many women get hung up on he cheated on me and i'm like girl the f first of all if i suspect you're cheating i'm probably gonna be trying to do a little something myself <laughs> just keep it all the way 100 I'm going to be doing my own thing. Like, I, I just don't, I'm not that invested in whether or not somebody is just totally like, oh my God, you're mine. Like, no one person is your possession. Do y'all understand that as women? Men and their penises, <laughs> since we're just, are not your possession. He not mine and I'm not his. I can do what I want to do. If there comes a time when I don't want to be with him, I'm not going to do that. Ain't nothing he can do. Ain't nothing nobody else can do but me. When I want to be with him, I'm going to be with him. And vice versa. If there's a time when my husband decides he don't want to be with me no more and he decides he wants to be with somebody else, that means I have to make a decision to either stay or go. Like, that's literally it. Monogamy is, is way, way, way. I think we have taken it as a people too far to be honest because he's not my possession he's not mine he may be somebody who promised to be with me what about commitment what about commitment if i commit to you on tuesday i was committed on tuesday come friday i might not want you no more and that's okay people have their own minds that's the part that blows me. Everybody has their own mind. If I commit to you, I committed to you on that day. In that time frame. Don't you know next week I'm not probably not going to be the same? Next week I'm going to have different a different mind frame. If a man ever in his life decide that he don't want to be with me. Like, okay. What's the big deal? If a man decide he want to be with another woman, okay. Like, it's literally that easy. I don't see what the big deal is. I done been cheated on before. A lot. <laughs> what? I have been cheated on a lot. Um, In the past, of course. Not in my marriage, but in the past. And I was a zip damn fool, girl. I was a fool. I was foolish. I was foolish because I wasn't doing it too. I knew that dude was cheating on me. I knew he, he said he going to be here at 6 o'clock. He turned his phone off. He said we were supposed to be going together. And then next thing I know, he doing something different. Can't find him. Other women calling me. I knew that dude was cheating. The only reason why I was mad is because I wasn't doing it too. Like... That's why. That's why I was mad. I wasn't mad because... And then he told me. But he committed to me. Girl, so what? Girl, so the hell what? So what? Because I'm the one he gonna be like, but she committed to me. <clears throat> she told me she wasn't gonna be with nobody else. I'm that bitch now. Oh, baby, I learned the game. Once you start doing... Once you put... A him on him. He gonna be scared. <laughs> Baby, he gonna be scared of you. My husband be heated. He be mad. He be gone. He travels for work and stuff. He be gone. And he be like, but you don't call. You never call me. And I'm not gonna fucking call you. I, 
will not ever fucking call you because I don't give a damn. If you got another woman, baby, listen, do you. If I suspect you have another woman and you cheating and I catch you cheating, baby, it's going to be a revolving door in this bitch. I'm going to be the mother of all hoes. If I ever catch my man cheating, I'm going to be the mother of all hoes. But every one you got and get caught with, I'm going to have to. You cheat on me, I'm going to cheat on you better. Tuesday, you said you wanted to be with me. Now, Friday, you said you want to be with another woman. Monogamy is overrated. You ain't got to be faithful. But please know, you cheat, I'm cheating. If I'm going to be sad and we finna get a divorce and everybody finna leave, then we going to all be sad. I'll be damned if I shed one tear and I don't get your ass back. I'm not finna clock your moves. I'm not finna go through nobody's phone. I'm not finna call you when you say you, when you late. I'm not going through none of them changes. Ain't nobody finna be on fatal nothing. Cause I got one too. Without my consent, the cheater changed the parameters of the marriage agreement. Who said, Medina, without my consent, you changed the parameters. So I'm gonna go by what you say, Mr. Head of the Household. Everybody wanna be the head of this and the head of that. Okay, you do this and I'm gonna show you how to do it better. Don't be mad though. And I told him before he married me, listen, if you ever get caught, I guarantee you gonna be the one crying. <laughs> so is monogamy overrated? It is. It is. Don't worry about what he doing. You worry about what you doing. Worry about where you at. Worry about where why you ain't got no friends and no extra people on the side. Especially if you suspect he cheating. Thank you for following me, y'all. So much heartache would be prevented if you just care about yourself. Worry about yourself. Worry about what you doing. He say he going to the gym and he be gone for six hours. Okay. Put on a little whole dress. And go you somewhere instead of sitting up at the house worrying about what he doing. But yeah, um, don't do that. In 2022, we're not worrying about these men. We're not worrying about what they doing, where they at. Oh, he told me. Oh, he said. We're not doing that. No more. Worrying about yourself and your priorities takes up 24. Who is this Medina? Let him know, sis. I never thought I'd stop worrying so much about his moves. Now I'll be like, okay, bye. Girl, I don't, I can't. And listen, that's how you get him to stay. Stop worrying so much about what he doing. Stop putting your whole entire life, all your existence and everything about what he doing. Ain't nobody uh, worrying about that. We, we cutting all that out in 2022. Everything. All of that is getting cut completely out. For real. I'm not, they just scared when you don't wear it. When you don't worry about them, when you don't say nothing, when you go on about your little life, when you put your little makeup on and uh, get your little hair and slap your little wig on and grease your little, that's when they get scared. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what they doing. He need to be worrying about what you doing. Why you ain't stalking him? Why you ain't asking a bunch of questions? Why you don't care no more? Why you ain't... um doing none of that that's what he that's what needs to go on he need to be scared and worried about why you ain't asking questions it's like a job if i get fired i'll find another one for real absolutely true thank y'all for following me ask zero questions ain't no questions to be asked what you need to know for because what you gonna do leave if you find out why does it make him stay more it make him stay more because he be worried about what you doing he be worried about where you going that's why I didn't say make the man feel unwanted. See, that's what happens. Y'all overcorrect. Y'all overcorrect. I didn't say go all the way and be stupid. I said, if you think he cheating, if you think he doing something, stop worrying about it. You can't control no grown person. How you gonna control a grown person? You can control yourself though. I need to call you for advice. I lost myself the last two months. Can't wait to, yeah, you really do. You really do. Thank you, Nick, because that don't make no sense. What is you caring for? He don't care. If somebody is taking you to divorce court and he say he don't never want to be with you again in life, 
why do you care what he got going on? Help me. Help me understand. Where, where, am I missing it? Don't do that. What you caring for? He don't care. He don't care means we don't care. Put that in the comments. He don't care means we don't care. Y'all need to match energy. You over there crying and sad. What you crying for? What you sad for? If he ain't sad, I ain't sad. Mickey, what do I do if I've already given him the cooch? Keep giving it to him. If you stupid and you didn't already gave him the cooch and he ain't did nothing for you, keep giving it to him. Keep being a dummy. Keep being a dummy until you get tired. That's what you do. Though I ain't finna tell you to stop. Keep fucking. Is monogamy uh overrated? Yes, it is. Monogamy is very overrated. Go do you. That's how we do that. Go do you. I don't, I ain't nothing else to talk about. Stop worrying about him and what he doing and where he going and don't do it. Because you'll worry yourself to death, make yourself sick, run around here looking crazy and ignorant. What I think of the girls getting the charger port camera to spy on their boyfriend. I seen that. I seen that on her boyfriend. That is not you. This is, this is the thing about monogamy. This is the thing about cheating. Who fucking cares? Who cares if somebody is cheating? So what? So what? Leave, cheat back, or stay. You got three options. That's it. I don't need to, I don't need nobody to uh sit up and, and I'm not finna worry myself about what he doing. I'm too busy over here doing me to be worrying about what he doing. Do y'all understand that? Girl, no. To be stalking him. When it's another one just as readily available. Don't y'all know if y'all are young, it's a bunch of men at, your, at the ready. And they all ready to pounce on something. Ain't no way in the world you got to be sitting up worrying about that one. Yes. Come on. Stop arguing. No arguing in 2022. Do not argue. Do not ask where he been. Do not ask where he going. Go do your own thing. Everything you do in the dark comes to light. You have a girlfriend and you're very happy. Well, that's good, James. Thank you. That's good. That's good to know. See, James got a girlfriend, but he on the internet telling everybody how adorable and sexy they are. <laughs> Worry about you in 2022. Ooh, come on. Come on, Nate. Come on, Nate. Worry about you in 2022. Stop worrying about somebody else. Stop worrying about what they doing. We are grown. If you are over the age of 18... And you getting PP and TT, you grown. Stop worrying about what somebody else is doing. Married, single, or whatever. You monogamy is ridiculous, y'all. I'm telling you. It's ridiculous. It's it's not ridiculous. It's just ridiculous to put your expectations on other people. Let's get back to the topic. When you are in a relationship, a marriage, a partnership, a situation, whatever the case may be, and this person decides that they want somebody else it is okay it is okay for them to say that what you need to do is be worried about yourself not somebody else and what they doing that's my whole point don't worry about if this person is faithful to me that is not you you are not them they are a free thinking being that can go and do and be and feel whatever they want allow people to do that if some if you catch your man cheating let him cheat let him cheat who gives a fuck but you ain't got to sit there and cry and be stupid if you gonna stay with a person that cheated on you don't cry about it that's all i'm saying what's my thoughts on marriage get married if you want to decide what you're doing when they say that are you yes are you gonna stay or are you gonna go that's the whole point of this video that's all it is cheating me do I stay with you? I'm not going to knowingly be with somebody that's cheating on me. Now, that's you got to have some type of pride. I'm not going to be, oh, you want to see Tasha? Cool. I'm going to go see James. Hell no. I'm not going to allow you to just demean me. And no. If I suspect something is going on, okay. If I find out something is going on, game on, bitches. That's how that works. What are my thoughts on monogamy? It's overrated. Super overrated. Do you? 
Y'all know I'm telling the truth. It's the truth. I wish a motherfucker would leave me after I done sat up here and said, okay, we finna do it. You've been asking and asking and begging and begging for me to give it to you. And then I give it to you and you don't call me no more. It's overrated. That person does not belong to you. What do you do in that situation? If they're not being monogamous, do your own thing. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do your own thing. If somebody cheats on you, leave them. If, if you can't take it and you don't want to be there and you feel like they broke the covenant, leave. But don't sit up there and cry. Don't stalk people. Don't, um, you know, ask a million questions and hoop and holler and get your blood pressure up and tell your mama. Tell the people that you do your uh, taxes. You in there telling everybody the story about how the man cheated on you. Don't nobody fucking care leave or stay but don't don't cry about it that's all i'm saying do you but don't cry about it do you in 2022 nate didn't sat up there and told y'all do you in 2022 that's how this is gonna work monogamy is pointless especially when you being faithful to people you have to do better the fact that he is even able to have sex with somebody is sad in my relationship, if I want to cheat, I'm a cheat. <laughs> if he want to cheat, he going to cheat. But the best part about all of that is I don't give a fuck either way. That's the best part about the whole situation. I don't care neither way. If, if this is what you want to do, great. If this is not what you want to do, great. Monogamy is just something that the patriarchy came up with so that we all, so that women can feel bad for being with another man. Basically, that's what, that's what I feel about monogamy. Am I monogamous? Yes, because we have things like AIDS and all of that. If you are with a sexual partner, then you need to be monogamous in your sexual practices. There's so many black women endorsing this and a lot of women are sharing anyway. Okay, again, I'm not gonna, if you cheat on me, you better fucking lie. If you cheat on me, you better lie. <laughs> First of all, you need to lie. You need to lie. You don't ever need to just come up to me and be like, oh, I'm cheating. Oh, I'm cheating. No, the fuck you're not. You, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna fucking come tell me you're cheating no if i ask you you better lie and say no let me catch you cheating i'm realistic with myself i know me if i if you come to me and tell me you're cheating i'm gonna be belligerently angry for real so no i'm not i'm not i'm not that type I'm not that real. You're not, you can't just come to me like, yeah, I'm finna go. No. Mm -mm. I mean, and I wouldn't care if I was sharing. If I'm sharing, it's because I don't know. It's not because I know it. And who in the world is endorsing polygamy? Half the chicks I talk to can't even get one man. So who's out here endorsing being with two? That's ignorant. You can't get one man, so you gonna endorse being with two. Now, I would say that might be a little fantasy of mine to participate in one day, but that's neither here nor there. That wasn't your question. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Should a man explain how he feels about you, even if it's portrayed as emotional? Should a man explain how he feels about you? Yeah. How else you going to know? How else, how else are you going to know, baby? And it's not really about him telling you. It's about him showing what he's trying to explain. Anyway, y'all, so I'm going to go. I got to uh, make my rounds. I will talk to you all later. Y'all have a good day. I'm Michaela Pink. And that's what I think. Bye.